Okay, everybody, welcome to Part B. So look on the screen. They're at the mailbox. Let's see. Said it before, said again. Dusty's and a Dustina, they will rob because, hey, I guess sometimes that is their job. They don't want a job, but I guess they'll rob. So all this time, thinking about it, he said, driving around in the wee hours. This is their job, in my opinion, st st stealing. Did you not see what they were? And here's my thing. They've been arrested the first time. They should not have been released. He spit out a self-manufactured key designed for mailbox theft, credit cards, driver's licenses, etc. Of 55 other people. Oh, seven grams of Beth. So let me guess, they're probably using this as a way to fund the drug habit. It already said they found bags of mail. Bags of mail. The first time, they, sh it, they should not have been got, let, let out. Defendant was caught with over 10 grams of methamphetamine, as well as separate baggies of scale. Oh, wow! A scale and 39.46 grams of afrazolam. What is that? I have no idea. Afrazolam pills. Actually, this looks more like a prazolam pills. While on bond for another felony, PCS charge. The defendant was also caught with a suitcase containing multiple suspected stolen identity items such as names that of birth social security numbers addresses account numbers and tax information for numerous individuals it wouldn't surprise me the room they're standing is paid off one of those stolen debit or credit cards so driving around the, the city driving around the block not looking for a job or trying to find a job. No, steal it from the mailbox. See, some people, they are who they are. Well, the first time they got popular, they deserve a chance. Again, you have to realize people are who they are. And are found with meth. Dusty's and Dusty, they don't want a job, but they will steal and they will rob. Even passports. So what if somebody is set to go on a cruise, go on a trip, looking for, oh, my passport should have been here by now. It should have been here by now. See, things like that, you should, already, in my opinion, you should already have that early. Uh-oh, you don't have your passport. Now, now what do you do? Everything put on hold. A self-manufactured key mailbox key he had it in his mouth they said he spit it out so what's the point of people doing what they want to do people are doing what they want to do whether they love you disrespect you whether the person wants to work hard try not to stall or guess what driving around the block sitting from the mailbox people doing what they want to do this is who they are actions speak louder than words oh i'm trying to get my life together Again, I thought about that. So this is obviously their career. It sounds like to me, doing a great job on the path to being a career criminal. I bet the very hotel they were staying is probably paying, pay, paid with a stolen debit or credit card, stolen ID. Somebody's paying for it. This is who they are. So I want to see what's going to happen with them. They're saying federal charges. Yo, they should be locked up. Maybe you can dry out. I don't know get some help but look at the damage that they cause and then people look at their credit report and you're like hey what happened taking a ding what's this getting a bill doesn't make any sense getting a bill all through the mail and then you finally realize well i don't have this yes yeah, somebody else does somebody else and all the bank will do is more likely cancel the card but in some cases depending on the time period you don't catch it 
all the bank will do once they reverse it, get you a new car. But in some cases, I've heard people saying, hey, you know what? It had been a while and it was already on their credit report. It was already adversely affected. And that's a big deal. You think so with people moving around? Oh, yeah, you're trying to get another apartment, get a house. Uh, yeah, I kind of got this problem. That's why it's a serious matter, a very serious matter. People's lives are adversely affected. People will do this. Man, you may look up. They may even buy a property in your name, get a lease in your name, fake ID. Things like that, not so easy to fix. But this is who they are. At this point, no redeeming quality. Let me guess, just to get enough money to do what you want to do and get your next bag of meth, whatever the hell, how you buying that mess. That's all that matters. Don't care who you hurt. You know, people do use their credit cards, unfortunately, to charge food. So think about it. Here's someone's card to use for whatever they want, their discretion. I'm going to go ahead and use it for me just taking and steal it. Somebody could be waiting on it, especially in this economy. They're saying most, they're saying 50% of Americans don't even have $1,000. So this here, man, they need to go ahead and lay the hammer down. Driving around the block. Think about it. Um, okay, they leased that vehicle with what, a um, stolen ID? Of course, a stolen car, I would imagine, to match. How they pay for the gas? So basically, it sounds like you're being a thief and just living off other people, other people's means. Other people's identity. How'd you put gas in the car? How'd you pay for the rental car? How'd you pay for the hotel? How'd you pay for the food? The jacket that they're wearing, they probably um, bought that off somebody's car. So just basically just being a thief and living off other people. Drive around, roam the street, drive around the block, steal it from the mailbox. I have no sympathy. These two need some serious time. Other folks working hard here trying to make it, and here you come. You're just going to start stealing. Him with those white jaws, your white jaw behind to be locked up, and so does Becky, the meth queen. You and your little puffer coat. It, it's really sad. And then people have to call in, get on the phone. Oh, I, 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 it's happened to me. And I'm like, wow, that's a good time for the bank to call me after they've gotten what? Let's see, one, two, three. Oh, after 4500 missing from the account on a credit card, not debit card, on a credit card. So now you want to call and ask if it's me. That's a fine time. I'd never gotten a cash advance off that uh, uh, credit card. We kind of noticed. Why didn't you call the first time around? So by that time, the person already got $4,500 off my credit card cash advances so now and that happened a while ago now banks have improved you know they'll send the notification hey is this you they'll decline I, I i i get it but you think about it that person got forty five hundred dollars off of my credit card of course they cancel the card and get me a new one but still it's, it's still not right because they use my information so this here they need to go ahead and make a good example. They need to be locked up. Too many people are trying to work hard and do the right thing, and you're going to come up with you a mailbox theft ring. Anyway, let me know uh, your thoughts on the matter. Have you been affected by this? Maybe somebody might sympathize with them. Uh, if you do, yeah, hey, I want to know why. But this here, it just shows you the, the generous of society. While people are working hard, trying not to starve, dusty behavior. They don't want a job but they will steal and rob. And when you take people's personal information, that, that, that's robbery in my opinion. You're still, it's the very same thing. Anyway, people, sometimes if you're waiting for certain documents, it just might be a good idea to maybe have the post office to hold them. Depending on your schedule. I'll hold my mail and that way go there and pick it up. Or P.O. Box. Just saying. Anyway, thanks for watching. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share them out.